is a pageant celebrating the extraordinary abilities of all women. Miss California Extraordinaire, and it's back for its second year. Regal, CEO of Miss California Extraordinaire, and also, from what I am seeing here, <laughs> Mrs. U.S. Woman of Achievement. Good yes, morning, good Risa. Morning. Good to see you How again. Are you? This is separate than the pageant that we're yes, about to talk yes. about. Congratulations. Thank you. I won this title in January of 2024. So. Amazing. You are in the pageant world. This is yes. your second year doing this pageant. It it's is. So amazing. Tell us about it for those who don't know what it is. Um, so we are, as you mentioned, San Diego's only pageant for women and girls of all ages and all abilities. Um, we have girls who are nonverbal. We have women who are in wheelchairs. Um, we offer the girls an opportunity of a lifetime, really, to get dressed up, participate in talent competition, and everybody leaves with sash and crown, and they just, yeah, they get to have a day where they feel like a queen. Why did you decide to, to do this and be a, a part of this? Uh, I graduated as a speech therapy assistant and back in 2022. And then I also, in 2022, won Ms. U.S. And it was then when I realized working with children with disabilities. And um, I just figured how great it would be to provide them an opportunity to experience what I experienced that year. Um, just the confidence that it gave me, the friendships that it brought me, and how wonderful would it be to provide them what I got to experience, yeah. what we all dream about as little girls, you know, getting oh, on stage yeah. and makeup and hair and crown and, you know, just to feel like a princess. For for many who could have been in the pageant world, this is, these are stories that you and I are yeah, able we've to shared. share um, because I, I did that as well for a mm -hmm. few years and I've shared it here on the morning show that I wouldn't be sitting here doing this. I would have yeah. been a lawyer right now if it wasn't <laughs> for the sash and the crown. So there's a lot of stuff that comes with it. I know your it sash is falling. falling because yeah. it's Do you want to, um, hold on, I wouldn't touch that part because that part can get, <laughs> I'll have somebody falling. else, come on. <laughs> um, but while they get that re-miked up because it's a beautiful sash and we want that to be fixed, there, the experience that many of these girls get that they normally would not have. Uh, it's more than that sash and it's it more than that crown right. for them. So when you talk to them and you see them and you talk to their families, what is that like? What is that experience like for them? I mean, our pageant was almost a year ago and families are still talking about it today and how it changed their daughter's lives. I mean, we have contestants who are going to the gym who are working out, you know, prioritizing their health now because they realize that they're going to participate in something extraordinary like this. We have families who um, otherwise, there's really not a whole lot of organized sports, if you will, or things um, for children or uh, women even with disabilities to yeah. participate in. So I've heard from families, you know, that it's like, well, we don't have softball, we don't have, you know, soccer, we don't have that. And so knowing that Miss National Extraordinaire comes around once a year, we also provide monthly community events. So princess tea parties for the girls. We do horseback riding oh. lessons. Um, we've done beach days, pool days where, you know, and we host, host these monthly leading up to the pageant. Yeah. So it's, it's much more than that. Yeah. And it's, it's really a community and giving is. them something it's to look family. forward to. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe it's been a year that this it is happening. Been. And it's coming I can't up. believe it. It's in, in a few weeks. Two and a half weeks okay. or so, yeah. Can people get involved? Can people support? How does it work? Yes. So actually, currently, we are in need of a photographer, San Diego. Oh, so Bree, <laughs> I can tell you there's photographers watching right now. They're going to message you. So you can go online to www.miss extraordinaire.com. We'll get it on our website. Thank it's you. much easier that Thank way. Thank you. And you can just hit contact us. It'll send an email directly to me. Okay. And if you are a photographer, um, we need your help. If you are a business, we need your help. This is only possible. These monthly community events that yes. we do, this annual pageant, it is thousands of dollars. Yes. And so 
I as one person cannot do it on my own. So donations are extremely appreciated. You can go online and donate directly, or again, send us a message to get involved. I'm sure people are gonna reach out to help, so. and uh, good luck. I can't wait Thank to see the you. photos from it. It's I an can't exciting wait. time.